Festival workers, what is the cleverest way you've seen someone hide their drugs slash alcohol? One time, some guys buried their booze on the festival grounds weeks before preparation started. Once they were in, they just dug them up. Some other kids did that up at the beach for 4th of July. Hey did you guys see a rock around here? Yeah I moved it, and put my towel down do you mind moving for a minute proceeded to dig up a foam cooler filled with Smirnoff ice and mics. I was impressed. I heard a story on the radio about a guy, who had a thermos with a split in the middle, and would pour out only whatever, was contained in the side the spigot was turned to, one side would have coffee, the other side would have booze. If he got asked to pour some of the contents out, he'd just dump out some coffee. Festivals are easy to sneak drugs into because the drugs are small, and you usually have a car full of a 5 days of camping crap. When I worked security we were taught that the hash one thing to worry about was glass. We went through training that said we are there to keep people safe and we are not the drug police. I found someone's mason jar of weed and told them they could keep the weed but I had to confiscate the mason jar. They dumped the weed in their bowel cap and were on their way. Later that day I confiscated a vial of acid because it was in a glass bottle. Would have let it go otherwise. Some friends and I decided it would be a good idea to put all of our pot, booze, and shrooms in the same bag and roll it up in a sleeping bag on our way into Bonnaroo. I guess we figured it would be more likely to work if they missed one spot rather than finding some things in various spots and turning the whole car over. Anyway, they found it but set the entire bag next to the trash can. Not even in it, probably so they could abscond with it later. We drove onto the ticketing area and I looked back and saw the bag, and the worker walked off to talk to someone. Feeling my nuts I got out of the car, sprinted back, grabbed the bag, and sprinted back to the car. Saved the weekend. Posting again. Forgot about my sister's trick. She rolled up a bunch of joints, took tampons and very carefully opened the end of the packages. She emptied the tampons and jammed a bunch of joints into each one. She then took her hair straightener and sealed the carefully opened end back up. She makes a point of putting them loose at the top of her bag, and when it gets searched, they fall all over the place. She acts incredibly embarrassed as she picks them all up, and the female security sympathize with her. After that, we are inside, opening tampon wrappers, and smoking joints together. I never hid it. At Lala we would load a backpack with drugs and alcohol and simply have a friend on the outside toss it over the fence to us, before entering through the front gate. As soon as the pack back was over the fence all you have to do is melt into the crowd and you are golden. Not a festival worker. The cleverest I have seen is a girl used a pen to smuggle in pills. You just remove the ink inside. The other one was actually done by my friend who worked security himself. He just held it in the palm of his hand. No joke. He said they usually focus on the pat down and do not notice your hands. I thought it was nonsense, but he got through clearly holding a bag of dope. A festival I went to years ago prohibited bringing tobacco or alcohol into the festival and then sold massively overpriced tobacco and alcohol inside. While I was in line, I had forgotten that I had my smokes in my pocket. The person in front of me in line was caught trying to bring smokes in and had to choose between throwing them in the trash or walking back to camp and he trashed them. I grabbed my smokes and my phone and when I was about to enter, I threw my smokes and phone into the trash. I walked to steps and said, I accidentally just threw my phone away. I reached into the trash and with one swipe I was able to grab my phone and both packs of smokes. The security was too busy paying attention to the line to notice what I had done. I quickly jogged forward and gave the stranger his smokes back. Needless to say, he was very happy and I felt like a rave hero. In a can of Pringles, almost worked they got unlucky and the can fell over during a bag check it didn't really clank it just seemed very heavy. Had them pop the top and the seal looked intact, but putting it away it clanked pulled back the tab, and they had two beers stuffed inside. Then we had to go over the rest of the stuff with a fine tooth comb, all their snacks had booze hidden. We went to a renaissance festival on pirate day, as a prop, I brought a treasure chest. Little did the staff know, there was a false bottom in it. I hid snacks and drinks in there. The rest of the treasure chest was filled with fake gold coins and jewels to hand out to people that wanted to take pics with us. 
the staff just cheered us on for our dedication when we walked by. Was working on an anime event one day and the security and a cosplay competition was going to happen so anyone in the list of cosplayers would go in with little to no inspection. So one of the guys had a fucking killer Gara, Naruto, cosplay and you already can guess what happened next. The whole jug in his back was filled with 10 liters of wine. And we only noticed by the number of people leaving the bathroom with cups when he went there to change. Sneaky MF. As someone who snuck all kinds of things into festivals I'll tell you what works for me. Find out what you are permitted to bring in. Water, Gatorade etc. In my case they let you bring in drinks if they are unopened and have plastic wrap over them. I used blue Gatorade since they made you open up water bottles, no shrink wrap. I drilled a small hole in the bottom, drained the Gatorade and added blue food coring to a bottle of rum. Then I sealed the hole in the bottom with clear 5 minute epoxy, non-toxic wind cured. If you drill the hole in the right spot it's almost impossible to see, not that they are really checking anyway. The only hard part is getting the booze into the small hole. I think last time I made 2 holes to let air in while filling. The Gatorade I use comes in a 4 pack, only one was rum. It wasn't hard to color match, just don't use any of the ice flavors B3 cause they are milky and can't be reproduced using just food coloring. This has nothing to do with festivals, but at my high school there was a drug raid on one of the dorms and a kid I know who was on the lacrosse team hit his drugs in the shaft of his lacrosse stick and proceeded to play catch with another kid while officers checked his room. I did a festival as an opening act so my set was short lived, I got to finish early in the evening and stay and watch the rest of the festival for free. I went to the bathroom and witnessed three guys standing around another guy with what looked like a cast on a broken arm. The alleged cripple then proceeded to smash the cast against the sink, breaking it open and spilling close to 50 ecstasy tabs all over the ground in individual baggies. Turns out the cast was a makeshift paper mash, however you spell that French ass word, cast he had made himself. Genius. I may or may not have been given a tab to keep my mouth shut about what I saw. Real cool guys. I used to have one of those tin fossil watch cases. I cut half of the foam from the bottom and would stuff shit underneath, then put the foam back in. Everyone always asked why I carried around my watch case. I would say that it kept it safe when I played sports. Nobody ever really noticed that I didn't even wear or own a watch. I also used to take allergy medicine packaging, empty them out, and replace them with whatever pill I wanted. Then I would use a glue stick to reseal the packaging. Once, at a concert, security busted us for underage drinking, so they searched everyone. Security guy pulls out my watch case, tosses it aside. Pulls out allergy medication, tosses it aside. Pulls out my actual inhaler, what is this? For smoking drugs. That's a true story. Allegedly. I have seen cool boxes with false bottoms, late night booze smuggling runs, tunnels dug underneath the fences leading to a stash buried outside weeks before etc. Someone bought 5 loaves of bread, cut out the middle 8 or so slices in the middle, stuffed it full of booze and the leftover bread, and walked straight in. Someone had painstakingly stitched pre-rolled joints into the lining of their tent, right where the poles go in through the fabric. Imperceptible to the naked eye. Well the festival I work at is a small hippie festival, so we have a liberal attitude to it. I've seen the security snorting lines when they are off shift. The tactic I used when getting into higher security things, though, was soap. Cut a bar in half, hollow it out, fill it up with drugs, then stick it back together again. Obligatory not a worker, but I saw a girl grab a liter of vodka off of the contraband table and smoothly close her umbrella around it as she walked to the pat down guy. Didn't bother to check inside her umbrella. Not only did she get vodka into the festival, she got someone else's already caught vodka in. It was a smooth move. No idea why they thought that the contraband table from the bag check line should be accessible from the other lines. At camping festivals, where you are allowed to bring in a grill slash charcoal, it is super easy. Simply buy the largest 20 pound bag of charcoal you can find, then open the bag very carefully on the bottom. Dump out all the charcoal. Fill it with beer, can hold about 30 to 40 cans. Pack some leftover charcoal around the side slash bottom to even out the bag. 
reinforce the bottom with some cardboard and hot glue it'll back up. Carry bag of charcoal with your grill right through the line and no one will even check it. Have used this many many times and have never had an issue. I know it doesn't sound like the bottom of the bag will hold with all that beer, but if you are pretty heavy on the glue, it works perfectly. The Devil Rays, at the time, had a hard time selling tickets to the point it was a home game for the Red Sox and Yankees when they came to town. Well they allowed you to bring in your own food for a while and we used to put a flask inside of our sub from Subway. Not a festival worker, but a festival attendee. Some festivals have you park then walk to your camping spot and sometimes these walks can be very long, so I bring along a wagon. My favorite way I've snuck in my party favors was putting them in little container with a magnet on it and then attaching it to the bottom of my wagon. Also, I replace water with gin and have a clever way to keep the caps of the water bottles sealed. I've also had friends bury drugs, or if the festival is in country land or by woods, they will make the hike miles through the woods into the festival to get stuff in. Not a festival worker, but festival goer. When I was 10ish my dad took me to a festival to see a family friends band who got us tickets. They had a no open bottle policy, you had to buy all your bottled drinks inside, so they knew they came sealed, but my dad had filled a backpack with bottles of diluting juice for me, and vodka slash coke for him. Upon entering the festival the bag was searched, and when told that we weren't allowed the previously opened bottles in, my dad told the steward that it was for medical purposes as I was diabetic, so we got to take the bottles in. I'm not diabetic. Finally a question I'm super qualified for. I worked for a top 10 amphitheater for 5 years every summer in college. Lots of festivals and large shows, so I've seen some things. The standard was vodka in water bottles, which never works, because you can shake it and see bubbles. Hidden flasks of all varieties, bracelets, belts, shoes, camel packs, shampoo bottles, fake tampons, and my personal favorite the fake baby bump. Lots of people will hide dime bags in the lining of hats. Bottles and plastic flasks stuck down pants. Putting regular flasks down pants. Going in then having your friends throw a book bag full of stuff over the fence. Using old cigarette boxes to hold joints. Bringing the folding chairs with bags and hiding things in the chair. One guy had a sick box that he filled with joints and then saran wrapped himself to make it look new. Most inventive for sure was a guy who lined his underwear waistband with pills. I've seen binders full of acid tabs that were printed to look like regular papers. Honestly people get pretty inventive when it comes to bringing in whatever illicit substance that they can. Universally they'll beg and try to buddy up to you so that you won't take their stuff. Or they will offer you part of it if they can keep a bit of it. One guy had his book bag filled with vodka water bottles, so I took them away, but the bag was still heavy. I checked and he had a full spack on it with even more alcohol and drugs. I'll let him keep the liquor, because that was pretty smart. Overall any trained staff is going to be prepared for whatever trick you can think of. But unless you're truly originally will get caught, at least at my venue. Sometimes we let people keep stuff for truly coming up with a good idea. One girl had a hula hoop and had her weed spread around the hoop so it didn't shake and the weight wasn't off. I'll let her keep some of it just cause it was a damn good idea and as employees we totally don't keep all of the things that we confiscate. That would be wrong 